All right, guys, now that we're back and we got everything set up with Betaflight, right? We got most of it set up. Now what we need to do is we need to get our VTX set up. We have a VTX table in our drone, and that is the table that tells our video transmitter basically what channels it can use, right? So this is a 40 channel uh, VTX, and it has uh, a power bands of 25 milliamp, uh, 25 milliwatts, I mean, uh, 100 milliwatts, 200, 400, and 600. So it's got five, plus it's got a, a pit mode basically, which is zero, okay? So that's six. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back into Betaflight, so I'm gonna switch screens here, and we're gonna click Connect, okay? Now, I've already done this, so mine's gonna look a little different than yours, but I want you to pay attention to this real quickly. Before you go any farther than this, I want you to go now and open our webpage, and I want you to go under FPV Professor, I want you to find our downloads, under Drone Kids, there's downloads, and I added this second file right here for you. I want you to right click on this file, and left click on save link as, okay? And put that in your downloads. I've already done that, it's this one right here. It's gonna say vtx20-600.json. Click save, I'm gonna overwrite mine, because like I said, I've already done it. If you remember, if you don't know how to get here, it's under uh, drone kits and videos, and then you just go to the downloads link, and you'll be on our downloads page right here, and scroll all the way to the bottom. You are using the VTX 20-600, so right click, left click on save link as. Okay, once you save that file, I want you to go back to beta flight. Now here's where it's gonna look different. Yours is gonna look different than mine. I want you to go to this tab right here called video transmitter. Okay, now I've already loaded mine, okay? So yours is gonna be blank. If you go here and you scroll down, there's not gonna be anything here. You need to go to this box that says load from file. You need to find the download, the vtx20-600.json file that you, click that and click open. And you're gonna see it populate all the way through here, okay? Once you've done that, you click save. And you're done. So now you actually have a VTX table, and just to show you you're done, I'm gonna grab my monitor here, I'm gonna turn it on, and I'm gonna power up my drone. Now don't power yours up yet, okay? But I'm gonna power mine up, and I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna wait a second, wait for it to kick in, and then I'm just gonna do a search on mine. I'm gonna let, there you go. So I'm already on, and I'm on 5.860, which is very close to where I'm at here, 5.885. So, and as you can see, it says Tramp, yes. That means it's, it's active for smart audio, and we're on e channel E5 and 25. Now your power range is 25, 100, 200, 400, 600, and zero. Zero is pit mode. So if I go to pit mode right now and I put zero, pit, and I click save, watch what happens, okay? So what we wanna do, well, actually, you may not see, you may not see, it says pit mode, no. Let me see if I can get yeah, pit mode right there, sorry. Let me click save. Okay, and what pit mode does basically is pit mode, it's not gonna activate on mine for whatever reason right now, but what we wanna do is basically we want to, I don't think it's gonna, I don't know if I click none. Uh, it may not allow me to activate pit mode this way. There it goes. So you see how it's blinking here? That's basically giving me very, very, very little signal. Okay, that's what pit mode does. And it's so that you don't interfere with everybody else around you, all right, when you turn on your drum. But anyways, we're gonna go back to 25 here. Watch my screen get cleared up, watch. Click 25, click save. Uh, and hopefully I will, uh, let me click save, hold on. Pit mode, no. Okay, I think I just changed my channel, actually. Sorry. So let me do a scan here. Oh, there we go. Hold on. It's going to come back here in just a second. But let me do a scan. And I think my VTX... Okay, so we're back to normal here. We're good. We have a little bit of a jump, but that's because i got too much signal going on here. But anyways, so we've got our VTX table now set up. So this is what you'll be able to control from your radio, and I'm going to show you how to do that later. But now that you've got your VTX set up, you're good to go with this. Do not power on your drone just yet, okay, because your VTX is going to overheat. I'm going to unplug mine. And what we're gonna do next is, when we come back, um, let me do this real quickly. When we come back, we're gonna end up, now we're gonna go straight from here into uh, BL Heli. Okay, so we're gonna get BL Heli set up and we're gonna update the ESC on here. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that, so I'll be right back.